Peter from First Maths. Today we are looking at Year 4, Block 3, Assessment Paper 1. The answers after each question. Question 1. Write the missing number in the empty box. Something plus 9 equals 25. Something 32 take away something equals 29. 94 plus something equals 110. Something take away 12 equals 25. 89 plus 21 equals something. And something take away 19 equals 60. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answer. Here comes the answer. The answers were 16 plus 9 equals 25. 32 take away 3 equals 29. 94 plus 16 equals 110. 37 minus 12 equals 25. 89 plus 21 equals 110. 79 minus 19 equals 6. Let's look at the next question. Question 2. Fill in the missing sign. Smaller than, bigger than or equals. This is, what, this is how you do this question. You work out what each side of this sum is worth. And then you tell me, is it smaller than? bigger than or equal to the other side. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here comes the answers. 24 plus 4 makes 28, which is bigger than 12 plus times 2, which is 24. 6 times 6 equals 36. So this is the same as 3 times 12, which equals 36. See, 20 minus 7 is 13, which is bigger than 20 shared by 10, which is 2. D, 30 divided by 3 is 10, which is smaller than 21. Take away 10, which is 11. Let's look at the next question. Question 3. Which of these is the best approximation for 897 plus 406? Put a ring around the one you choose. Pause the video until, until you are ready for the answer. Here comes the answer. Answer 900 plus 400 is the best approximation. Question 4. A drink is 69 pence. Pizza is £5.89. Hamburger, £1.49. Hot dog, £1.32. What is the cost of the pizza and the drink? What is the difference in price between the pizza and the hot dog? Pause the video until you are ready to see the answer. Here comes the answer. The answer A six pound eighty five no, six pound fifty eight pence and B four pound fifty seven. Let's look at the next question. Question five. Calculate A one hundred and eighty eight plus two hundred and forty five. B two hundred and eighty seven plus 534. C. 474 plus 248 plus 157. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answer. Here comes the answer. 188 plus 245 makes 433. B. 287 plus 534 makes 821. C. 474 plus 248 plus 157 
make 879. Let's look at the next question. Question 6. Calculate. A. 357. Take away 125. B. 465. Take away 178. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answer. Here comes the answer. Answer A. 357 minus 125 equals 232. And B. 465 minus 178 equals 287. Let's look at the next question. Question 7. Write the missing numbers going in and coming out of a number machine. So the number going in and then you have to times it by 6 and it comes out. So let's see. So a number 1 going in coming out would be 6. So it's 6 times larger. So 3 going in, what number would come out? Pause the video and fill in the chart. Here comes the answer. The answers were 1 times 6 is 6. 3 times 6 is 18. 6 times 6 is 36. 2 times 6 is 24. And here we have to do some dividing. 24 divided by 6 is 4. 60 divided by 6 is 10. And multiplying, 5 times 6 is 30. 42 divided by 6 is 7. Let's look at the question. Question 8. Pennies collected from the fund time machines were counted and put into bags every day. How many pennies were in each bag? Pause the video until you have the answers. Here comes the answers. In each case, the numbers were 100 times bigger. So I had two zeros at the end. For example, 23 became 2,300. 17 became 1,700. 26 became 2,600. 31 became 3,100. Friday 57 became 5,700. 79 became 7,900. And Sunday 116 came to 11,600. Let's look at the next question. Question 9a. How much water is in the jug? Pause the video to find out. Here comes the answer. Okay, 550 milliliters. Let's look at the next question. A bottle of medicine holds 100 milliliters. Tom must take 5 milliliters twice a day. How long will the bottle last before he runs out of medicine? Pause the video until you know, think you know the answer. Here comes the answer. 10 days. Question 10. If you could only use these numbers and symbols how could you make the number 32? You may use them as often as you wish. Pause the video until you know the answer. Here comes the answer. There are lots of different possible answers, so your teacher would have to check, or your colleagues would have to check to see if yours, some worked correctly. What's next? Question 11. Write these temperatures in order from the coldest to hottest. 
pause the video until you have filled out the chart. Here is the answer. The coldest was minus 12 degrees centigrade. Then it went minus 2 degrees centigrade. Then 12 degrees centigrade, 17 degrees centigrade, 23 degrees centigrade, and the hottest was 37 degrees centigrade. So let's look at the next question. Question 12. Write the temperatures shown by the arrows. By how many degrees did the temperature rise from here to here? Pause the video and answer the question. Here come the answers. The answers was 7 and minus 2. And it rose by 9 degrees centigrade. Let's look at the next question. Question 13. Continue the sequence in both directions. 10, 7, 4. What are the six missing numbers? Pause the video until you are ready to look at the answers. Here come the answers. The answers were, it goes up in threes, 10 to 13 to 16 to 19, and it goes down in threes, 4, 1, minus 2, minus 5. Let's have a look at the next question. Question 14a. Write the coordinates of each point A, B and C. Pause the video until you are ready. Here come the answers. A, 6, 0. B, 4, 3. C, 0, 3. Let's look at the next question. Draw a cross point at 2, 0. Pause the video until you are ready. Here comes the answer. D is at 2, 0. Let's look at the next question. If travels northeast-ish in a straight line from D to 0, do you arrive at point A, B or C? Pause the video until you've made a decision. Here is the answer. You would end at B. To return to point 2.0, in what direction would you travel? from B. Pause the video until you think you know the answer. Here comes the answer. Southwest is the answer. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like below. Please subscribe to my channel and also press the notification bell be informed every time I upload a maths resource. It could be a maths lesson, a maths test, a maths quiz, or other maths fun math stuff I happen to find. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!